What is good guys, it's Ida and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe because my aim on this channel is to teach you how to become hairdresser free. How to do your own hair in the comfort of your own home. So make sure you turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post. I've been getting a lot of messages about doing one of these videos where I just sit, camera my hair, and talk rubbish. So that is exactly what I'm going to do today. My hair needs some doing and I did blow dry it, but guys, you don't have to blow dry your hair to cornrow it. You just have to make sure it is nice and detangled so that your comb can go through and make the part. It's nice and smooth. I'm just gonna get down to doing my hair as usual. I'm just gonna do the first half, like the front half of my hair and leave the rest out. And um, I have no idea in mind we're gonna find out together what's gonna to happen. I've got my white tooth comb and my rat tail comb and I've got some hair bands on my arms and um, yeah, let's just get right into this video. So I'm going ear to ear basically. And I must say shout out to all of you guys that have learned how to do your hair from watching my videos. I love it when people send me Instagram clips and like different messages saying that they've learned and they can finally do it. It's the first time they tried. It really means loads to me knowing that the videos that I put out are useful. Um, that video in particular teaching you how to cornrow the front of your hair. <laughs> that I think I did too two or three takes of that video because it is very hard to articulate what you're doing when you're so used to doing it. It's like trying to walk someone through how to walk, like telling them, yes, you move your foot like this and then the next one comes. It's just a bit, it's a bit hard to kind of take a step back and um, evaluate what your fingers are doing and teach people how to do it. But I'm glad that it has been received well. Um, even though of course there are people that haven't been able to pick it up which is totally understandable obviously my way of doing it is not going to work for everyone but i'm glad that i could help the people out there that i have helped i feel like i always go this way there's something about it where i'm always like yeah part here so maybe i might do something different mm. i don't want to do something different i like it i always pick this corner I don't know why. It's like my favourite angle to come from. Or maybe we're doing fringe. Okay. I'm doing some bangs today. So, this up. so I've been contemplating whether or not to change my YouTube name because I'm at a stage where I'm like, I am tired of using not my name I mean I've added, I think I've added my name into this channel but my plan is to literally just change it to my first name and my surname and maybe add the um, pronunciation thing in the middle because I feel like it's still important people always miss say my name wrong basically um, so my Instagram name has changed it is now my name which is Ida Karaya um so i'm thinking to also change my youtube name especially because i don't just want to do hair like i want to include some life stuff in here and i know obviously not everyone's interested in my life fair enough but i do want to eventually like oh God. what see what happens when you talk and do your hair i do want to eventually do some life life stuff and whoever wants to see it can watch it if you're here just for my tutorials and the videos of me doing my hair fair enough I mean you're all entitled to watch whatever you want to watch but yeah so I'm just thinking whether I should change this one to Ida Karaya as well and just leave it at that uh, which may probably happen soon if I do my arms already aching. I've been doing insanity <sighs> again. 
insanity you guys know insanity that crazy workout i've been doing that again i've completed it once in my life back in like 2015 i completed it and i started it so i've started it so many times but i started it again in september and it's a two month long um workout boot camp kind of thing so i've done month one then there's a rest week rest week please the workouts within that rest week are murder as well there's a rest week re what there's a rest week in between okay at this point yeah i'm gonna just lift up my hands and go to the other angle because my hands are all bent up and up so i'm just gonna stop there and then um continue from this angle um what was i saying yeah so i'm now on the first week of month two which is hell and my body is aching even more <sighs> so doing this <laughs> is murder look at this loop <sighs> can you see that loop sometimes loops form i don't know if you can see it that thing there so i'm just going to take this bit out remove my phone here the way i plait i can never get right to the tip of my my hair i have to like stop and then turn it around and do like an inside braid for it to go to the end i also wonder what other random things that you guys want to learn because for example i didn't think that people really cared about learning how to put beads on their hair but that video has done really well and i don't know what kind of things that i may find maybe simple to do or like second nature that some people may struggle with so if if there is any random hair things that you think i can help with um there's been a few requests that i need to film yeah let me know what kind of random like what the hell is this what kind of videos that you think you would like to learn that you that will also be helpful for others my edges are forever struggling Switching between the actual rat tail and the comb itself helps as well. Is that another loop? You guys didn't tell me there was two loops forming here as well. What is going on with my hair? I've been asked how to make sure that your hair sticks to your scalp. I think it the I the trick is to when you're grabbing hair making sure that it is literally the hair that is right at your scalp like don't grab hair further down your scalp because then it will make it not attached i believe that's the trick just making sure that your hair is right on your scalp and it might hurt you have to kind of push down with practice you will do it a lot lighter and become easier but i find that i push down and i put some pressure on my hair i don't do my hands all loose in the sky <laughs> there's pressure to it my hair is going upwards like that which is really weird <laughs> it used to always go the opposite direction like but now it's going like so it kind of Looks like it's part of this line as well. This is the artist in me. But if I start going this way. Yeah, I think it would work. I think it might just work. So I'm thinking, because there's a bit here, do I have to then go like that and round? But I don't want to do that. Unless I go down with one side and up the other side. I always tell you that my edges are messed up because I have a bad habit of pulling at them and ripping them out. <laughs> right now they are at their worst. I'm trying to incorporate them into this pattern is a struggle. What is this? What is that? I'll just pull it out completely. 
sometimes turning your head also helps with the party you can see i'm not actually looking at the mirror right now because my head is turned this way it's a bit hard to look at the mirror and it's just easier for my hands to be platting in this angle while my head is turned and then if i feel like i need to check something then i'll pause have a look and then go back so it's very skinny that beginning bit so we're going to take that little bit split it in three and then just start plaiting really small it might just be a little plait rather than picking up hair at the beginning then as you get further you start picking up hair My battery died but what I basically did was just continue this round um, these going up and these going down so now I'm just deciding what exactly I want to do with this side I kind of like them all going one way but I mean that might work if I just continue this round like that we may just end up having them just go in one direction so I'm just gonna basically Continue cane rowing round and round, and we will see what we end up with. I think that's going to be today's style, guys. And we are finally done. Oh, I'm still wondering whether I like this side. <laughs> These ones are a lot smaller, and it just gets thicker. So if this was to go like this, instead, what well, can I really be bothered? No. But if I wanted to, I could take this side out and then just have this come round and then this go round, up, 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 rather than down this way. But in all honesty, I am not bothered. It has to go slightly to the side. Then we got a big puff there. I'm gonna add some beads for this bag here. I'm not sure what beads to go for. Probably some plain ones. I'm gonna use this beader to attach these beads to these plaits. So just put it on there, hold the end, put it in, and pull. And then use my elastic band. Put band. And then that is one done and then I have to go dig for the rest of them but I'll be right back. So I ended up changing the colour of the beads because I couldn't find <laughs> the colours that I needed but I am done. I think I might just add a little bit of eco styler and just a little bit here. I don't really do my edges um, well so I'm not going to do anything crazy. This one just sweat it a little bit. And I think I am done. I just realised why people tend to think I'm younger than I am because of the hairstyles that I do. I'm literally just stuck in my secondary school ways, clearly. Um, but yeah, this is my hairstyle. It is 
pretty simple nothing crazy going on it's just a lot of arm work and a lot of different angles that you gotta do your hair in but um yeah let me know what you guys think and i will see you next time peace love and life